It's springtime in the mountains of Colorado, and we're off to find a camp spot for the night before tackling a tough trail in the morning. We are making uh, like a Mexican dinner. Sure. Right? Yeah. We're gonna ground some beef and then we are going to put some other ingredients in there to make it edible. Meat juice does Maybe. good for your face. No, it doesn't. Go away. Exfoliating. Exfoliating? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Exfoliating meat juice. Exfoliating. No, I'm eight. not a 48. I'm not 48. 40 years old. <laughs> I was about. That. This blue, bro. It's so cool. <laughs> it looks so good. Well, it is an absolutely beautiful morning here in the mountains of Colorado. Temperatures in the 40s. It's gonna warm up today. Uh, to be in the mid 60s, it's gonna be pretty nice. But as much as we want to sit around and enjoy this uh, amazing scenery, we have a trail to go do. Oh, thank you. Chinaman Gulch is a seven mile loop that's rated at an eight. It was renamed to Yansing Gulch in December of 2021. The name Yansing translates to resilience through adversity. It would also turn out to be a very fitting description of the trail itself. What? Yeah, you should be. And then you can come a little driver. Okay. As you get up here, that way you're just not going straight up that wall in front of you. Okay, easy. Okay, yeah. Jesus.
first real obstacle is a small, diff-catching, smooth-faced granite boulder. The trick is to plant your front passenger tire on it, stay straight for as long as possible, then hook passenger, pivoting your back wheel on the boulder. Nice little brake section. Yeah. This obstacle is not required. It's a small play area just off the trail, offering a thrilling climb for those brave enough to tackle it. Alright, your right side's gonna climb now. Yes. Hey, Parker said his. Okay. Very good, very good. All right, check it out. Yeah, see, there's no way I get over it. That break over angle. Uh -oh. I think you um, will just end up tugging you forward if you can't get out of that. There you go. Power through it, power through it. Nice. You're, you're still square. Little driver. Yeah. Now right, you're gonna come down. And you're probably gonna smack the tag of your bumper. Right. Oh! <laughs> Did I miss the light? Yeah. You're good. Man, that was a little oh. squirrely, bro. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Here's a rock. Okay. <laughs> yeah, back up. <laughs> All that, but they got that right? little bitty rock there. All right, full driver. All right, start going, driver. All right, you gotta climb on passenger. Yeah, hard driver. Yeah, hard driver, hard driver. Yeah, keep the hard driver. <laughs> A little more driver. Alright, keep pushing forward. Nice and easy. A little more driver, keep the driver. Alright, slow. Okay, stop. Okay, here's where you can start to drop down. Keep forward slowly. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
So your front's down, now you just gotta power over this because you're on your sliders. Yep. <laughs> no, he's definitely forward the only way you're going. I don't think he's doing that either. I don't think he's doing it. I'm gonna try to push you. Yeah, you're on your slider over here too. Yeah. You're doing great. Just past the play area, you come to the whale tail, a five foot wall of solid granite. Extreme line is far left, easiest is far right, and the hard line is right up the middle. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I've mentioned this before in past videos, but it's important to recognize when there are shearing forces on the front end. It's hard to explain, but I could feel it. Do try like we did before, but maybe stay high tray, stay uh, okay. more driver. Okay. Because as soon as it came off, you could feel it like put pressure. Well, you take the track right here. There you go. The rear end of the gladiator is digging into a rock and has me stuck, making it impossible to back up and reset. After several attempts at making forward progress and being unable to back up, I had no choice but to pull a line. And it wouldn't be the last time either. Oh, you got a winch point up there. Oh, oh, yeah. Is there a winch point? There, there is. Oh, there is. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. oh, well let's get on.
After a quick bite to eat, we were back at it, tackling double whammy, the next optional obstacle. There's two lines here. First is for driver, the other is for passenger. The trick here is to keep your passenger side up on the top of the wall, riding the ridge all the way down. After getting unstuck, somehow we land directly on the front lower control arm, leaving our front passenger wheel with no traction, the front driver wheel in dirt, and the diff caught on a rock. After multiple attempts at getting unstuck, I had no choice to again pull line. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, wrong way. No, I went the wrong way with the shackle. So is it just so your knot doesn't pull out of the... Yep. Yeah, you really want your knot pulling on to this. Because it doesn't happen very often. Yeah. But if you're pulling on this, it's gonna try and slip out. Sure. Pulling on this, harder you pull, harder it cinches down on the That makes sense. That's why you always get it tight. 
figure out where you're at. And then that's pulling on this, which sends down on the knot. Good. There you go. Yeah, you got it. Just stay on that same line, not there. Great. driver and then and then go forward. Hard driver, hard driver. Come on, dude. Yeah, keep driving. Okay, keep straight. Yeah. Right at me. Right at me. Alright, there you go. That's it. As soon as I thought to myself, we made it out without any issues. I take a bad line. Hey, um, hey uh, Ben or Garrett, uh, can Some I what, see ahead. if y'all want to push on the Jeep? Because I'm on my fender. I'm going to try to minimize the body damage here. That's fine. And on your hip point on your bumper, and pull away from that rock if you want it. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's do that. It's not a big deal. Oh, yeah, you're right on it. Yeah. Yeah, I think if we hook to that tree, we can pull you. Snap bucket? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. There you go, Gary. Another one. Got your little uh, King Pro or younger King Pro? Yeah, they're right here. A bit more line, Ben. Hey, babe, what you doing? I'm questioning my life choices. You can see how many other people have rubbed up paint against them. This thing, you can see it all. And we're just gonna add to it now. What would you do that for? Big booty problems. <laughs> so now we're gonna snatch block to the tree, pull me away. I gotta hook far driver so it may go any further. Well, he'll keep you from going in. Yeah. I'm free. Yep, yep. That's freaking snap. That's the
this trail. Okay, you don't want to go do it again? Not today. We can, we can turn around and go do it. I would probably do it again. That's definitely harder than Top of the World. Yeah. Uh, I would say that was probably harder than Steelbender. It just... Now, okay, so I don't know if it's because we camped last night and maybe we didn't get, like, a refreshing night's sleep. Yeah. Um, but today just felt like a lot. It was a lot. The whole trail was a lot, though. Yeah. Very bouldery. Very, very difficult. Right. Very technical. Yancing Gulch in the bag. Ta-da. We are almost at the top of Mount Everest. 27,000 feet. You gotta come up, Nick. It's not that bad right here. Not that bad. Not that bad. It's not. You'll be fine. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Yeah. Pretty agile. I'm good right here. <laughs> yep. Parker, you make me nervous, Parker. Come on. It's not even a vertical drop over there. The sun is setting here in the, uh, in the mountains of Colorado, and we got a few treats here to share with our, to share with our friends. But we forgot the uh, cork thingy. Cork thingy. To get the cork out. Cork screw. The cork screw. So you have to improvise. MacGyver. When you uh, forget such items. All right. What do we got here? So let's see here. You want Parker to take that? Sure. Here, Parker. Yeah. Uh, camera here. Put the screen around there. You go. You have to get it started. There we go. Oh man, we got major surgery going on here. <laughs> Texans and power tools. We'll get it done. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Look at that. It's a little deeper. Hey, I think this is actually going to work. Count of three, ready? One, two, three. I'm gonna get a hernia holding it. <laughs> right, we gotta do some okay, twisting so action or something. Let's get it, let's get it all the way down. <sighs> Maybe a suction. Wait for the top of this go. <laughs> right. Should have brought a sword, could have just cut the top off. Well, I do have a machete over there, we could use that. Slice the top of the bottle off. Uh huh. <laughs> that would be some good content. <laughs> May not be able to drink it afterwards. You try to pry it. <laughs> yeah, now that I got it all the way down. Oh, there it goes. Really? Is it? Because I don't see it budging at all. I feel my stomach. Uh, it's moving a little bit. Is it? <laughs> uh. All right, let's go down a little bit. So you're not trying to hurt yourself. Right. Just like backing away. It's <laughs> amazing. Oh, oh man! <laughs> hey, well, there we go. I got it open. Took out most of it. Gonna lick my pants. <laughs> I got paper towels over there. <laughs> cool. All right. Got it.